when you're given the equation or just the function rule, you still need to take a look at it and know whether it's linear or nonlinear. So here's some um, tricks that work for about eighth grade level math. Once you get up to the higher level math, you're going to need some some extra rules, but these understandings work pretty good. So if it's linear, we know that it's going to be a straight line, and you need to look at the x's and the y's. And if the x's and y's don't have exponents, you can almost guarantee that it is linear. Okay, so uh, here's some examples right here with straight line. Obviously, the line's straight on the graph, but you wouldn't have that. That line is y equals 3x. And if you look at it, the y and the x don't have exponents. When we take a look at this straight line, it's y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4. That's, that's the equation that's graphing that straight line. And again, the y and x do not have exponents. We wouldn't care if the 4 had an exponent. We wouldn't really even care if the fraction had an exponent. But it's the y and the x only that we need to make sure are exponent free. And then um, this one, of course, is x equals negative 5. It's a horizontal line. There's no y. That doesn't uh, really uh, change our opinion of it. It's just that the x itself does not have an exponent. So that's the key when you're looking at the equations. Now, if you look at the nonlinear, obviously the x's and y's need to have exponents on them. But there's also um, a couple of other little things that pop up usually in eighth grade math. And the first thing is if you see the x on the bottom of a fraction, then it's nonlinear. The other thing is if you see an x inside a square root sign, it's nonlinear. So let's take a look at a couple of more examples, but we'll, we'll focus on the nonlinear ones, okay? So obviously, if you were given the, the graph, you wouldn't have to, to delve into it, but sometimes you're just given the equation, y equals x to the second power. And since this x has an exponent, you know that's the reason this line is curved, okay? So let's take a look at this one. Um, this is y equals x to the... Um, actually, it's to the third power. And again, because the x has an exponent, we know that it is curved, so it's it's nonlinear. Um, here's here's another one. Also, you'll see that this red line is curved through here. I had to use a different um, graphing calculator to be able to get a screenshot of it, and um, it's definitely not straight, so it's nonlinear. And here's the equation, y equals square root of 10x. Because this x is underneath the square root sign, it's bending it. So for the nonlinear, uh, one of the extra tricks is to make sure that x, the x is not underneath the square root sign. Okay. And then the very last one, we'll take a look at the x being under uh, the bottom of a fraction. And here, this is a very odd uh, graph right here, but this is all for one equation. Um, you get a blue line curving right along here. It's hugging the x-axis and the y-axis here. And then um, mirroring the image on this side is doing pretty much the exact same thing. So it's a very strange nonlinear uh, graph there. And the equation for this, actually, is y equals 5 divided by x. And it's because this x is on the bottom of the fraction that is causing this weirdness that we see on the graph, but it's definitely nonlinear. So just wanted to make you aware of those rules.